What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the crazy ish American say from Reddit. I'm so intrigued because I just feel like it's going to be off the wall stuff, and so. I'm here for it. Well, yeah, this is by Evan Edinger. Edinger. Before we jump into this, what I need you guys to do is subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. I'm human. I talk back. You got a favorite video? Uh, <clears throat> you wanna you want me to react to? You can su subscribe to Patreon and make the suggestion, or there's a Google uh, forum link in the description. What we got? White American men are terrorists? Who is the first country on planet Earth to ban slavery? That's right, America. And who fought and died to do that? Right, white American men. Oh my God. Hello and welcome back to whatever day it is. <gasps> Bro, that's, we're, we're not starting it off. <laughs> my Lord, who be saying this stuff? You should, online, bro, you should have to put your name beside every comment you make. You shouldn't, you can't do it anonymous anymore. You can't, because you say crazy stuff. Hello, bro. and welcome back to whatever day it is. <laughs> Sunday. My name is Evan Edinger, and today we're going to be looking at more funny Reddit content, since you guys really enjoyed the videos I made last month on that. Also, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, so you'll be hearing more about that hey, in the middle of the Nord. video. The subreddit we're looking at today was actually recommended by my friend Sabrina, and I was surprised I'd never heard of it before, but that's the lovely thing about Reddit. There's just freaking thousands of weird-ass communities about different things, and today's is no different. The subreddit is called... Shit Americans Say. The basic concept of the subreddit is, have you ever recently seen something amusing out of the States? Of course you have. Post it here. And this is a satire <laughs> sub to have a laugh at amusing things from Reddit and beyond that are uniquely American in nature. But for the oh most part, whenever gosh. a post from this subreddit gets to my homepage, it's always something terribly embarrassing about an American that said something that's just so American. So we're going to be looking at the top posts. Without further <laughs> so ado, American. let's hope it's not too bad. <laughs> Say what you want. America is the reason you have cars. That's Germany. Okay, <laughs> I'll be honest. I also was this type of person when I was a super duper American man. The reason is I was taught America invented the car. I'm not kidding. I, I was just taught that. Sure, Henry Ford did invent like the whole process of streamlining it. But that's yeah. also, you know, a little bit of that. Germany made the car. I only found this out last year. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I was just always taught that. So it makes sense I've never, when you're American. I've never thought about who made the like cars, bro. I just Outside Henry Ford, yeah, yeah. Outside, I, I've learned about Henry Ford, but. Yeah, I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I was just always taught that. So it makes sense. When you're in America, you're taught, we made sure. everything. That but that German. just sets the tone for the rest of this video, I guess. Say what you want. America's the reason you have cars. And it's wrong. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I'd rather receive false information and keep my conservative views than receive true information and follow a socialistic agenda. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No. That. No. That hurts. No. That's so many conservatives no. in a nutshell. But it's so disappointing. Like, I'd, rather I'd rather be lied to, and I'd rather yeah. just take in false information no. <laughs> than become this thing that I think is a thing that I don't actually know about because I believe false information. What? You should never pride yourself over wanting false information. <laughs> That's terrible. That who put that, bro? You do. That's terrible. That, 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 false information. <laughs> what? You should never pride yourself over wanting false information. Please. I just can't believe this person has said this so unironically. I, I just can't. People who leave I their phones set to military time are f***ing war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can understand that. It's 405, right? F***ing bootlickers. What's next? You're gonna go join the army? Recruit me? <laughs> Americans be like, okay, I can't, I can't count past 12, actually. That this was me <laughs> when I first moved to the UK. I was so confused because everything is in military time, and it oh, would just okay. be like 14 o'clock. What is that? That's <laughs> 12. The only way I was able to get over this was actually by forcing my phone to use military time. And then after like a couple months, I finally got used to it. But I still say yeah. things weird like, "Oh, meet me at like 17 p.m." I don't think you could combine them like that. Or 17 o'clock, supposedly that's weird. I still just say the number. I don't want to have to convert, even though I love math. But damn. <laughs> Imagine being this incensed over how time is read. It's not oh, that wow, big wow, of a deal wow. either way. It's a number. Hercules. Hercules. 
you don't want to be on the receiving end of this gunship, aka the Angel of Death. This is what we have instead of insulin and debt-free college. <laughs> It's not funny, but it is at the same time. Death. This is what we have instead of insulin and debt-free college. <laughs> I will say, as weird as this it sounds, in this time. isn't uniquely just an American thing. Like, I'm sure that you the know. UK is doing other stuff like this, but yeah. maybe they're not having a, the Department of Defense <laughs> tweet about it like this. I don't. If the country you're from also does something like this, please leave a comment. We'll talk about it in this Thursday's video, but we'll see. Maybe this is uniquely American. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even know how many generations removed from my European ancestors, five or six, but I've been to Germany twice and had multiple instances of people engaging me in German because apparently I look super German. German is our only official language. We engage everyone in German, no matter how you look, like unless there is a specific reason to assume you might not speak German. He's gonna be amazed if he ever visits China and people start speaking Chinese to him and be like, what? Chinese. Oh, that is so American. I hate this. So here I am in Berlin with the missus when nature calls. And when you know what nature calls, you gotta answer. So I go up to a local and I'm like, hey man, you know where the restroom is? And he says, Halt die Which I assume means for the right, because it was right there. Love German culture. So nice. I talked to my liberal neighbor tonight about the 2020 elections. She said it's a hard decision on who to vote for. I said, no, it's not. It's either Trump or socialism. Her jaw dropped. She said she never looked at it that way. It's that simple, folks. Trump or socialism. <laughs> Welcome to America. I just hate so much the. Am I love this. I love this channel, bro. I have to react to, to some more of his videos, bro. This Trump is this or socialism. Who finds? Oh my! Welcome that had a check I just mark. hate so much that the was amount certified of Americans on that just Twitter, throw the bro. word socialism around that don't actually know what it means. That just get told it's a bad thing. That thinks everything yes. that has to do with socialism is bad. <laughs> All right, there goes your public schools. Goodbye. <laughs> Which you clearly didn't spend a lot of time in anyway. White American men are terrorists. Who is the uh. first country on planet Earth to ban slavery? That's right, America. And who fought and died to do that? Right, white American men. Can I just? Oh my God! One of those memes where like, I faded to the background. I just can't imagine rim. making such a strong statement that's so wrong. Oh, uh, you are wrong. Portugal, 1761. Great Britain, 1772. Denmark, 1788. France, 1848. Haiti, 1794. Spain. The list goes on. Not even in the top 10 U.S. Oh God. Like I can imagine like having incredibly passionate oh. political views about this type of thing. Yeah. But I'd really want to make sure that. I knew what I was talking I about. God. USA is That's less really racist good. than those Scandinavian ethno states. How, Lamal? We have more diversity. It's only natural that we are less racist. <laughs> How does that make you less racist, Lamafowl? Uh, you literally only have such a big diversity because you <laughs> have them as slaves. Also, if you're gonna start living here permanently, you've gotta start putting your dates in our order. That's right, it's March 19th. Get it? American. Not right, but American. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. He said, "Not right, but American." Oh, I got, got you. I Get got it? you. American, not right, okay, but American. You. Tell that to the Fourth of July. That was a good. Gavin, shutting it down. <laughs> this that is another one of those things where I'm just so surprised people have such a huge opinion on something that really doesn't matter much. Personally, At I all. do genuinely prefer the American system of month first. I'll say that. I do like it. I like it for organization purposes. Month first makes mm -hmm. sense to me. Year first, annoying, but makes sense to me. Day first, I don't like it, but I deal with it. It's yeah. not that big a deal. But us Americans don't have learning. accents. I mean, more people use Imperial than metric. The US is large population wise, and it's oh more than the God, entirety bro. of metric countries combined. No one mentions China's measurement system or Russian and their cubits. Sorry to burst your bubble, but India alone have a larger population than the US and they use the metric system. God, this is so annoying. Imagine being so stuck in your American bubble that you think yeah. the US is big and it's the only thing I really know of. And so whatever the other countries do, they, yeah. they definitely, are, you know, they're, they're a lot less than us. And if they are using a different thing, they're smaller than us. Read a book. It's, it's I really wish the it's US wild. public school system would just teach Americans about other countries 
I mean, it, someone's got to do cool. it. Oh, and for the next one, I've got to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, NordVPN. If you're unaware, NordVPN have been a big supporter of this channel over the past six months, especially when times are tough. So I'm super thankful they reached out to me to sponsor some more videos. Okay. Check out. So as an American myself, I can say big thanks to NordVPN.com slash Evan for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's hear what the other Americans are saying. Just wanted to say 72 degrees is 22.22 degrees of Celsius for 99% of countries. Um, maybe have Celsius in brackets for international users? When Celsius puts uh -huh. a man on the moon, then... <laughs> Well, NASA does use the metric system and Celsius. So can we talk now? Oh, murdered by words. That is the most American response I could even hope to see on this subreddit. The worst part about this is you can just read his tone so well that when he made this comment, he was thinking like, got him. Yeah, when Celsius puts a man on the moon. Am I right, lads? America, Mer uh, locals in Scandinavia, especially Iceland, are superior to you in their own minds. No one tells you this until you go over there yourself. I live in the US too, just like you, but I'm Scandinavian myself anyway. Where in Scandinavia are you from? Finland slash Sweden slash Iceland. It's all heritage, oh, mate. Lord, Don't speak on our behalf then, please. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like a quarter of an eighth Scandinavian. My parents came from that country. Scandinavia. Oh God. Did you know our servers survive on your tipping kindness? Oh God. It's like one of those things that's unsaid that you just have to know about. Like that is how tipping culture works. Yeah, works. But to put it so blatantly on a sign like, hey, if you don't give these servers money, they're not gonna survive. <laughs> Why not not do that then? Uh, this comes from someone who does appreciate tipping culture, but I appreciate mm -hmm. tipping culture as in they should be paid fully minimum wage and then you can tip on top. That's a good system. Yeah. Not this, not this. I'm proud to I say that my blood last name is Bambini and although my ancestry DNA gives me zero Italian DNA on my dad's side, I'll stick with being one quarter Italian. This is the most huh? American thing I've ever read. <laughs> Oh, oh, it is my, such uh -huh. a thing where it's like, oh yeah, I'm Irish. But like, oh, uh, where are you from in Ireland? No, like my dad's dad's grandpa like came on the boat like 150 years ago. Really Irish. That's not, it makes you have like Irish heritage, but it doesn't make you yeah. Irish. This is Irish a thing that is just so all. uniquely American because you do not see people from any other country ever do that. You don't really see someone that was born and raised in England saying, oh yeah, I'm German. No, they're, they're English. If their parents moved to England and they were born and raised in England, they're English. Their parents are German, but they're not. We're not sure why, but if you've ever seen drunk 18 year old Americans, nothing good ever comes out of it. So we raised it to 21. So if nothing good comes from giving 18 year olds alcohol, then what good is giving them access to guns? He said it. My man Bernie with, have you ever avoided taking an ambulance because you could not afford it? Yes. The ambulance is not your taxi to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Americans are almost proud of how little rights what? they get now. Americans are proud of how little Ooh. access to healthcare they get. I It just really upsets me to my core. I mean, 10 retweets, 91 likes. All these people are like, yeah, you showed him. It's ambulance. That's, no that's literally the worst response. I mean, ambulance is not your taxi to the hospital. Oh my lord, bro. If you get hurt so badly enough that you need an ambulance, bro. No, no, you know, what? That that comment makes no sense. 91 chance. likes. All these people like, yeah, you showed oh him. Lord, bro. Ambulance ain't no taxi to the hospital. All right, we'll look at one more here. We've got, ambulance why do I need an AR-15? Because someday the government may tell me I'm not allowed to put my sick son on a plane and fly him to Italy for treatment. And believe me when I tell you, I will be putting him on that plane. I need an AR-15 in case I need to hijack a plane to fly my son to a country with socialized healthcare is currently my favorite take on gun ownership. <laughs> <sighs> God dang it. It really is upsetting that America used to be such a great country that so many other countries look to for inspiration and now you just have people like this that everyone is just laughing at. If you're a fellow American watching this video, hopefully you cringed with me this entire time because <laughs> you shouldn't want to be like this. You should try to no, get out of your American funny. bubble in any way, whether that be learning about other cultures, traveling if you can afford it, just reading things about other places online. It is truly so annoying that it is ingrained into American society that America is the best. 
despite that meaning nothing and despite it not being true. But that should be fine. What we should be doing is striving to be better. Who cares about mm -hmm. the best or anything? Just try and be better. Yeah, Whatever be it better. is now, let's try Facts. and prove it. No matter where Facts. you live, that'd be a good idea. And maybe for the future, Facts. if you're thinking about making statements about places outside of your own bubble, <laughs> research a bit more. Probably a good idea. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please or be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every single Sunday and Thursday. You can watch some of these other videos <laughs> I've made recently. Something about Reddit. It's pretty cool. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bro, that was absolutely hilarious, bro. Uh, shout out Evan, bro. That was funny. I just, just Some of the things that just get said just baffle me. <clears throat> That's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite uh, video you want to see me react to? You can subscribe to Patreon or in the description section of the Google Form link. Hit the link, fill out your suggestions, send it to me. I'm going to get to yours faster, fill out premium. Make sure you hit uh, subscribe to the channel, ring notification, but I'll get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most team. Right up on. Team on YouTube. It's your boy Dini. Out.